everybody. I am Rob Rolf. I am the drummer from the band Enter Shikari, and I am here at the Pioneer Club in St. Albans because if you're up for it, I've got something I'd like to show you. Something I'd like to introduce you to. Ba -ba 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 -ba. This, everybody, is my drum kit. Drum kit, meet everybody. <sighs> now, if you've not seen a drum kit up close and personal before, come here and I'll show you. These top bits, the metal ones, they're called the cymbals, and the bottom half, the tubs, they're called the drums. This cymbal is called a ride cymbal. This one's called a crash. And these ones are called the hi-hats. And let's go around the back and I'll show you the drums. This one in the center is called the snare drum. It's because it's got a snare on it. These two are called the Tom Toms, but you can abbreviate, abbreviate that to uh, Tom. The Rack Tom and the Floor Tom, because it sits on the floor. Now down here, we've got the Kick Drum, otherwise known as the Bass Drum. Kick Drum, obviously, because you kick it with your foot. And so that, folks, is my drum kit. And the bit that I'm sitting on is called the Drum Stool, otherwise known as the Drum Throne. So if you're up for it, I'm going to give you your first ever drum lesson. So I first started playing the drums when I was seven years old. First got into bands when I was about 12 years old and was playing with Enter Shikari, have been playing with Enter Shikari since I was about 16. And it's been the most amazing thing in the world for me. I've been able to travel the world and meet countless amazing people. But even all that band stuff aside, just playing the instrument has been massively beneficial to me. It's been amazing being able to really channel and focus my energy on something so positive. Now, it can be the most frustrating instrument in the world, but when you've been working on something for an hour, two hours, a day, two, a week, a month, you've been working on something, really practicing, and you finally nail it, <clears throat> no better feeling in the world. It feels so good. And the best thing about it is you don't need all this. You don't need a full drum kit to get it started. When I started, I was literally stacking up pillows on my bed or, or stacks of books. All you really need is a pair of sticks. So the first thing I want you to do is pick up your pair of sticks. Now you want to hold them between your forefinger and your thumb about a third to half, of the, well not quite, about a third of the way up. Let's go a third. Then you lightly tuck in your other fingers underneath, but only very loosely. You really sort of balancing it between these two. Just like that. So when you come, when it comes to hitting the drum or the cymbal, you're kind of letting gravity do a lot of the work for you. You're not, you're not pushing it down into it. You're letting it drop on it. Now what I want you to do is on the hi-hat, this, this little uh, diddly over here, I'm going to count to four playing the hi-hat along with it. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, this is where it gets fun. The kick drum, I'm going to hit the kick drum with the kick drum pedal on every one of those beats. You with me? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so far so good. Now, we get the snare involved. So I'm going to hit the snare on every third beat. Let's split them up for a second. So ignore the kick drum for now, just park that one. Let's keep just the hi-hat and snare. Snare playing on every third beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
You got that? Now, guess what? Stick them both together. So, kick drum on one, snare drum on three. I'll do it a little bit slower at first so you can hear them put together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, now let's speed it up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this beat that I just showed you how to play can literally be used in a million different songs. You can apply it to so many different uh, tracks, different styles of music. And I'm going to show you how I use it in one of my tunes. So there you go, I've been Rob Rolf and this has been your introduction to the drum kit. I hope you've enjoyed it and maybe even inspired to pick up a pair of sticks yourself. Cheers. <laughs>